Hey, welcome to Easy Flight. Today we're going to see what happens when we fly a moving object inside a moving object. So for our first test, we're going to be using the DJI Phantom 3 quadcopter. And my guess is when it takes off, it's going to stay stationary and be unaffected by the movement no, of the van. No, I think that's wrong. Once it leaves the solid surface of the van, it's just going to go up. And how fast is the van going? 25. Well, it's going to fly back and hit the back of the van at 25 miles an hour. The momentum's going to bleed off, and the van's just going to leave it behind. Well, that's what I guess I, we'll, we'll find out. Let's go find out. Let's go find out. Well, as much as I hate to admit it, it looks like Jiraiya was right. The Phantom was totally unaffected by the van's movement. It just stayed in one place. It was rock solid. But the Phantom is a very sophisticated drone. It has auto position holding and locking sensors and cameras on the bottom, which keep this thing stationary at all times, unaffected by outside forces, which makes the Phantom too sophisticated for this test. So, it's not a very fair test. So for test two, I took the flight test electro hub put the board completely to manual mode. So the only leveling it has is the stuff I put in on the sticks. All right, let's go, let's All go, let's go it fly. Out. Let's go fly. So it looks like we got the same result with Austin's quadcopter. No matter how fast the van moved, the quadcopter didn't leave its position, just hovered in the same spot. So now that you know it's safe to fly a quadcopter or a helicopter in a moving vehicle, you can bug your friends on road trips. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video on the DJI Phantom 3. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already. And be sure to check out the bonus video at easyflight.com where professional filmmaker Johnny Shipley gives advanced aerial photography tips. And we're pretty cold, so we're going to leave now. Yeah, thanks Bye -bye. for watching. Thanks for watching. If you haven't noticed, the current drone trend is rising like crazy. Everybody's got a drone. These new drones take amazing footage. But how do you take it to the next level? How do you differentiate yourself apart from the crowd when it comes to aerial photography? Maybe you want to do aerial photography for your job. Maybe you want to improve your flying skills. If this sounds like you, then let me introduce you to Drone Film Camp. Me and my buddy Austin have spent the last couple of years testing, flying, and filming with drones. And we haven't really been able to find any good information out there to teach people how to take it to the next level. And so we've put together an amazing course on aerial photography. I have actually filmed for a TV show and I was able to learn some pretty cool tips. I learned three advanced videography principles that we're going to share with you in this course. I also learned three advanced flight patterns and then we've also got bonus PDF downloads and pre-flight checklists. If you're someone that's serious about aerial photography, it's something that you love to do and you want to learn more about it, then make sure to go over to dronefilmcamp.com or click the link in the description. It's completely free and make sure you get in pretty soon because the course is only going to be available for 500 people. You're going to learn some of the latest cutting edge flight information that we've learned from TV producers and put together just for you.
So head on over there to dronefilmcamp.com. I'll see you there.